Flying again! I am terrified of heights, so that might be life in a field for me. I don't know. I don't know what it's like there. As long as it doesn't fall, I guess. Is that the throttle or something? Oh no. It's another cutscene. I'll have to edit it. At last! I found the clockmaker! He told me the machine to synchronize time is broken. And without it, I can't return home. I need to find three keys within this well to fix it, with only the map to show me the way. Yep. These trees look like they're made of gold. How is that even possible? What the hell? Well done, you've completed the brilliant stream show. You just did brilliant dark right up in the dark room. Thank you. Is that not a dream show? Any other thing? It's made of solid gold. I'm not sure if it matters. This gold tree reminds me of the story about the once told about a king. Is that Midas? Whoever said all that goes is not gold and never saw this tree. It's beautiful, but a tree of gold is not nature intended. My dear Lyra. These trees were not always this way. Once they were beautiful and lush, and the people here took great care of them, for they possessed strange powers. Now I see that someone has transformed them into something unnatural, and robbed them of their virtue. A pity. With love, your grandfather. Well, I'm also sure about that grandfather. Boom. I've trained the trees of gold back to wood. That wooden tube has a small button on it. What happens if I press it? Darling Lyra, you reverted the trees back to their original state. I'm so proud of you. It seems that someone turned them to gold on purpose so that no one could discover their secret. I wish I knew what it all meant, but alas, I do not. Your grandfather. This bloody. Okay. Oh, maybe I can use this guy. Let's see what happens if. <coughs> I'm sorry. Let's see what happens if I do this. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't launch them. Okay. Oh no. Oh no! It was going so well. Let's do it again, shall we? Oh, it's going here. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Yes, go in the hole. No, it didn't. Oh, God. I guess I don't think he even needs sticks, do you? Uh, let's get stuck there. Glitch it! Glitch it through! Oh, glitch it through! Oh my God, it works! <laughs> oh God! Okay. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I didn't realize ladybugs live inside trees. Oh god, centipedes. Absolutely hideous. Oh crap. All you need to do is this. Oh no. Push it, push it. Can you? Yes. Yes. No, oh, bugger. Come on. Why are you doing this? I'm patient, I'm patient, I'm barely patient. It's alright. There we go. Yes. Are these centipedes of a help or a hindrance? I can't tell. Well, they're from either. You can tell. You must make what is usually a hindrance. 
into a thing to help. A, a helping aid. Oh, Maybe I'm supposed to do the thing that is usually mainstream, anti-mainstream. Do this. Yes. Ta-da! Yes. Anti mainstream. It seems that politics were there for a reason. Nothing here? Okay then. Left or right? Let's go right. Do this. No. Okay, whatever. Oh no. Maybe if I do this, it'll go faster and then actually go into the hole. Oh, almost. Wait, maybe go right. Maybe do this. And then that. Yes! There we go. Oh, six are gone. Whoa! A key! The earth shook again, but this time a key popped out of the ground. Is this one of the keys the clockmaker told me about? If it is, then there should be a new location on the map. Yes. Let's go. Revelio. Revelio. The birthplace of all music. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wait. Oh, I need fuel. Not fuel and process again. <sighs> okay. Watch this. Ah. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> Here we go. Place where the street is. The birthplace of all music. It doesn't t actually tell you what place it is. Ta -da. A what is this place? It's got musical instruments everywhere, but it looks like no one's been here for years. There must be a key somewhere, so I'd better start looking. Yes. My dearest Lyra, oh. this is the island where fairies created music eons ago. Search for clues on how to make it sing, sing once, once again. again. Forever Very yours, grandfather. I'm sorry, I just had to join in there. It looks like a harp, harp or something. All these levers, like what I've seen before. Stones. Drumhead. Prow on the ship. <laughs> Does this do it? What's this? That blue stone has odd symbols printed on it. It looks like there used to be other stones next to it. Maybe they must be on the around. island somewhere. Dearest Lyra, this place is a music garden where fairies created their music with these blue stones. However, it seems that several are missing. You must either find them or make new ones, then place them in the correct order. With love, Grandfather. It seems in this installment I'm, uh, they're doing more of the talking instead of me, rather than me. Mm, I don't know. Is that better or not? These columns look ancient. Their tops remind me of the instruments on the island. And those symbols seem familiar to me. Are they notes? Not that we know of. Dear Lyra, these columns are all jumbled. Do you think you can make sense of them? Try your best, and let's see if we can bring order to this chaos. Love, your grandfather. <laughs> God. There 
Ecke. this first. There we go. This one first, then this one. And then, ta-da! Okay. Gotta make sure we remember this, I guess. Oh my goodness. With some luck. Yes! <laughs> that was lucky. <laughs> okay. Let's go down. Wall. This cave is pitch black. I can't see a thing. I must find a way to illuminate it. Who knows what might be lurking in here. Imagine that. You come in a place and you hear that. What's this? A metallic cylinder. Darling Lyra, fairies used this device to record their melodies onto magical stones. If you can figure out the proper song to play, I'm sure that the island will come, come alive. alive. Love, Love always, grandfather. It's really heavy, is it? Huh. Whoa. Magical crystal. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh, before adding this, I must replace the missing centers, and now... Oh, no. That's, that's exactly like the one in the first, the second game. Boom. Spit it out. Okay, let's go back to Na 10. I've traveled from my town of Wish, where I've lived all my life, across unknown lands to find the place where the clockmaker lives. I hope to find the answer to uh, I'm looking for. A way to return home. I've arrived somewhere in the north, where the air is cold and there's snow everywhere. I can't believe that anyone would live here, but I can see a large house atop a tall spire that casts a normal shadow. I want to see if I can get inside. There's a big mechanical door that I must unlock first, so I hope I figure out how. I think in the first three games, there's a lot of lore, because in the first game, uh, there's Fidget telling us about the fairies and stuff, and then the dream pieces. Second game, there was Avol telling stuff, and then the Dream Jewels revealing secrets of the fairy world, fairy realm. Third game, there was still like the Nexus, the fairy retreat, and stuff like this. But in this game, we're not seeing much of the lore because this is just uh, Lyra describing what we're seeing. We're not getting any info about any more about the. Fairy realm. We only know that this place is the birthplace of music for fairies, but not much else. Which is why I guess the magic is defeated. There are four doors here. One leads back downstairs, the other three doors are locked. Which one to try first? I suppose there's no way to know for certain. I'll just try one and see what happens. I have to solve another puzzle based on a clock, of course, to open this door. I don't know who's trying to keep me out, but I'm convinced it isn't the clockmaker. If this is truly where he lives. There's more to this than meets the eye, I'm sure of it. All these clocks on the wall, it's unbelievable. Surely this clockmaker is mad, or is at least troubled. But I still don't understand why he would break his own machines. If not him, then who, or what, is behind all this? Am I losing my mind? None of this makes sense whatsoever. But I must stay strong. Grandfather is helping me, and for that, I'm extremely thankful. I don't know what I'd do without him. And it's amazing the trouble someone went through to keep me and people out of here. At first, I thought it was the clockmaker person, but why would he do such a thing? I can't imagine he gets too many visitors up here, and surely he wouldn't purposely damage his own devices. Are those whisp and those whispers I keep hearing. I finally made it inside the house, but it doesn't look like the inside of any house I've ever seen. All sorts of devices 
door on the, the walls with a particularly large piece in the mid center. And of course, it's a missing piece that I must find. What, what happens when I find it? Will the clockmaker suddenly appear, or is all this for nothing? I can't help but think that someone is toying with me, and I don't like it one bit. That strange mechanism on the wall is enormous. There are multiple tiles on the wall that rotate around, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with them. Maybe I should rotate them to a certain position? There must be a clue inside the book on the counter. Redouble my efforts and see what I can learn. After a great deal of trouble, I spoke to the clockmaker and found out what happened to me. I know I know now that he is not responsible for my situation, but I can't help but wonder who is. Regardless, he told me what I must do to return home. So I have begun my journey to find the three keys he described. My first destination is a place called a uh, place called Treehouse Village. It's a beautiful pastoral place, and there are four trees that appear to be made of solid gold. Could this be the work of whoever transported me to this dimension? Are they trying to make sure I never leave? I'm determined to find answers, one way or another. With my powers, I was able to transmit the trees back to wood and appear inside them. And what, uh, what I saw, the trees themselves have puzzles in their trunks, and I need to figure out how to complete, complete them. I can make a walnut drop from the small tube, but I have no to arrange these sticks I found in the way that guides the walnut to a hole at the bottom. Just yesterday I would have found all this to be unreal. Now I find I'm not surprised in the least. My world has been turned upside down and all I can do is accept it and move forward. I'm so excited! I found the first key in the treehouse village by solving th three puzzles. And now I've arrived somewhere called the Wind Music Island. Wind Music. I landed a de on a desolate beach full of ancient stone instruments of some sort. Grandfather says this is where music was actually created by fairies. I don't know if he's kidding or not, but I'm inclined to think he's serious. Enchanted chalkboards, chalkboards, strange powers, clockmakers, fairies. There's nothing I would believe anymore. When this is all over, I'll find the answers I seek. For now, I must do everything I can to find second key. That is my only goal. I forgot that she doesn't know fairies exist. I went up a set, of, a set of old stairs carved into the rock and found these columns with carvings on of the crystal instruments I saw on the beach. Oh, that's useful actually. They have symbols just like the ones I've seen all over the place, and I'm positive they're musical notes of some kind. The question is, what am I supposed to do with them? When I spin parts of each one, some of the symbols turn green. When I spin a different part, it all changes. I'm not sure what to do. I must find out though. So I'll see if I can detect a pattern. I've used another one of my powers to illuminate this cave, and I have to admit I'm growing more comfortable with them. I used to be a bit afraid of the dark, but now I have never have to fear it again. There's a large amount of blue crystal rock here, and I'm pretty sure that I'm supposed to print symbols onto pieces of it using the machine right next to the mound. If only I knew the symbols went where. I'm sure I'll find the answers on my own island. After all, if fairies could do it, why not me? Because you're the fairy lord. Twisted fish, needle, XX, shoot. Twisted, that one, needle, XX, shoot. Fish, shoe, twisted thing, I am more literal fish, I guess. There we go. Alright, oh, I forgot. <laughs> there we go. Fish, I, shoe, fish, I. Oh, but God. <laughs> but God, he's on that. Fish, X, shoe, fish, shoe, shoe. There you go. Ah, God! Put the black stone in it first. There we go. Heard that voice again. It made the ground shake. 
It almost sounded like the island was coming apart. Oh no! I knew it. Just look at this mess. I suppose I'll have to find a way to put everything back together or I'll never find the next key. Right then. That's a big thing there. Here? Yes. Aha, yes. What to uh, the three hours later? There. I put all of the instruments back together. Now let's see if I can place the blue stones in the right order. Just like the second game again. There are five as well. What a wonderful sound that was. I don't think I've ever heard anything quite so lovely. And look, another one of the keys. I only have to fetch one, one more, more, then I can go home. Oh. What happens if I put all the pistols in there? I have to move closer. There we go. I want to see if I can go back to the clockmakers first. One twenty. I just made my life more difficult, didn't I? Oh, that's fine. I didn't reveal the map there. Oops. I just want to go back here. Okay, let's just reveal the new place first. Oh. Yeah, reveal. Where are we going next? Oh, we're going... Whoa, where water is collected and stored for all of us. Oh, there are names here. Treehouse Village, Water Collector. I forgot that I had to refuel again if I... It's fine. Whoa. I won't stop. I heard that voice again. And the next thing I know, the clock numbers disappeared. Where, Where could, could they, they be? be? Okay, we got them. Here we go. This is a memory game again. Jesus! Yes! Oh, it's just one time. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> oh. This room is quite dark. There must be a way to brighten it. Boom! Boom. Wow. That's a key. Is this the last one? This. My darling Lyra, someone has removed the gears from this machine, rendering it useless. You must figure out how to repair it, or I fear you shall never return home to us. That's a bit... With love, your grandfather. <sighs> Threatening, isn't it? Let's just do this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thankfully, they can just rotate in any direction. Doesn't matter which direction that is. This one isn't the last key, just so you know. Ooh. Oh no. What? Opens now. 
that's the key, what the key is for. Looking gears. The clockmaker has down him, outdone himself. Um, yes, let's just. Uh, oh, is that the time thing? Is it constantly six o'clock? Whoa, that's immediately a. There we go, done. Let's go to the last place. South Southwest Zero. Mm, and here we go. Let's go. Let's move. I guess take uh, Faye, uh, Faye. Lyra can go back to wherever she wants if, for example, we miss the dream piece. But no, we're not that careless, are we? drained from this pool there must be a way to fill it back up I'm so close mm -hmm. thunder to call for thunder and lightning maybe the rain might fall that's a key what a boom Ojo, the rain dance! Do, 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 do. Whoa! -ho. Did I just make it rain? I can't believe I filled the pool with water. Make it rain! Dear Lyra, this is the place where water is collected and purified. The water has drained out of this pool, but you have the ability to fill it once again. Remember, when it rains, it, it pours. pours. Now, your grandfather. I bet Tangle knows everything. It's just plain stupid. Pub door. Whoa. The it again. stairs down and entered a dark room. It's cold and damp in here, and I can't see anything. I should use my power to illuminate it. Everyone's plain stupid. Ooh. This cluttered room must be connected to the pool outside, and there are mm, all sorts, sorts of things, things lying about. about. Those planks seem to have carvings that almost match the ones on the wooden wheel. Could there be a connection? Ooh. My dearest Lyra, I believe you're supposed to weigh down this wooden wheel. Perhaps that scale can be of use. These carvings might be significant as well. Love, your grandfather. It's like the lock of wish again. I remember that you could just randomly do this without any effort. Pretty sure. Oh well, let's do it properly. We're supposed to make a box with cross like that and that. Give the lever a good pull. Good peel. No. 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 Ta da! A bell rang in the bell. There we go. Triangle. With. Okay, like this. Right? Oh, mistaken. This, which one was the heavy one? There we go, that one. Ta da! Under triangle. Like this. Yes. That's very light. Almost this one. 
Ta-da! This with this. This one? Yes. So this must be on left. What? Do I have to wait first? Up arrow crossed. How dare I have to wait first? Oh, I guess I have to like fill it with water. I guess I don't know. That should be the last key. I can finally return to the clockmaker and fix the machine he was talking about. Oh, not the refueling game again. Is that why this game got low reviews? If I can. North, north, east, one twenty. Oh no! No! Are you kidding? And it starts at the way way back at zero again. Which is annoying AF. Oh. Oh. Patience is the key. Oh yeah, I need to read the book first. Later on. Before I finish the game. The last key! Oh, here. Yes. Hold on. Let's do this. Another door, another clock puzzle that I have to figure out to get inside. I grow weary of, of all this and fear I'm losing my ability to cope. I'm cold, lonely, and miserable. But I can't give up. I will not let this clock make go. Whoever it is, keep me from my home. As long as I can make progress, I try, I'll try to keep my chin up. Simply cannot afford to get down on myself. Optimism. Uh, optimism at its best. I opened the door to the room upstairs and used my powers so that I could see. There are gears everywhere. They are actually quite beautiful. Someone clearly takes pride in their upkeep, for they shine like the sun. I also see locked covers behind that, uh, that undoubtedly have something important behind them. I must find out what. I have a feeling that once I do, everything will start falling into place. Maybe then I'll be able to return home. This must be the machine that the clockmaker was talking about. If I can fix it, I should be able to synchronize time and return home. But there are so many gears. How am I supposed to know what goes where? I thought I could use my new powers to help, but alas, they seem to be no use here. This problem is one of mechanics, not magic. I have no choice though. I must simply repair it, even if it takes me the rest of my life. I found the second key on Win My Music Outlet, and I am ecstatic. Someone is definitely trying to keep me from finding them, but I don't care anymore. I will find the last key no matter what it takes. The ground can shake all at once. I know I can do this. I just landed the airship next to a pool of water with a small hut nearby. Of course the water drained from the pool as soon as I got here, and I'm sure I'll have to find a way to fill it up again. But with grandfather's help and my determination, not to mention my powers, I feel like there's nothing I can't do. I will make it home no matter what. I made it inside the hut and illuminated the basement with my powers. What a mess. There are all sort of odds odds and ends strewn about. Whoever lives here certainly doesn't plan certainly isn't planning on having company, that's for sure. I can't imagine where the final key must be might be. But I'll need it I'll need to clear out some of this junk if I ever find it. hope to find it. One thing I notice is a curious wooden field. Over in the corner, it has these scrawled etchings on it, and these are planks. Some there are some planks nearby that have similar markings on them. There must be a connection between them. I'm certain that once I discover it, the key will present itself. I'd better get to work. The final countdown. Oh god, there's gonna be another. Okay, whatever. Give me all your love. I wonder what happens if I just go back to a place that I'm not supposed to be. Let's just do this first. Yes, and then this. This. And then this. No, that's not right. These two. Aha. Da -da -da. Ah, la, 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 la. 
Whoa. The machine is working. That means that I'm back in my own time dimension. All I have to do now is jump in the airship and fly home. At last, I can leave this place. There's nothing else in the journey entry, journal entry. Okay, so we just fly home then. Uh, more reviewing process. <laughs> Wow! That that fueled it up immediately. That's great. Okay, that's good. North 180. Here we go. I was planning to go somewhere else, but you know what? It's gonna take time. I'm gonna have to refuel again. I was just doing. Oh no. Finally, I was able to restore the clockmaker's machine and return to my original dimension. I'm in the airship and I've set the coordinates to wish. But instead of sunshine, all I see is darkness and lightning. Are my powers to be tested again so soon? Yep. Right. Achieved the rank of Master Fairy. Yay. Credits. Huh. They didn't have credits before this. Original concept, game design and project manager. Miguel Tartage, art director. Pablo Vieta. Lead programmer, David Gonzalez. Programming. Miguel Angel Angel Linier, artist Gabriela Lasbal, Jera Cordero, Dene Diaz, 3D Brigade Hungary Inc. It was made in Hungary? Producer At Attila Zinez, lead artist Peter Zuzi, uh, artist Demokos Abran Janos Antal Blas de Batalan Catalan. I can't read this fast! Play first ink! Oh, I don't know. These are the credits of a brilliant game, I guess. Just wish they had a bit more lore, you know, instead of puzzle only. Special thanks. Like, what's, what, what's going on? What's actually going on? It just doesn't have the same feel as the previous three games. Okay. Well, that was uh, that was Dream Chronicles: The Book of Air. Uh, challenge mode, actually. So, uh, I, gu I guess I'm gonna have to leave it there. Uh, it's quite a decrease in my enjoyment, but you know what's all in the f name of fun and games. Well, that's it, I guess. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, you can subscribe, you can like the video, you can do whatever you want. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.